Hi guys, so right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean the counter shaft sprocket area behind the clutch slave cylinder and we're going to clean all the gunk out of there. There's all the chain lube and everything, it gets caked in there and there's a rod in there from the clutch slave cylinder that goes in to uh, disengage the uh, clutch. So you got to keep that thing clean, so I don't know, I usually try to do it about every four or five thousand miles. So. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to either use a zip tie, we're going to pull the clutch in and we're going to tie it to the grip. And what that's going to do is keep the slave cylinder piston from popping out when we take it out. You can use a clamp. You can use whatever you want. Just make sure it doesn't pop off. There we go. All right. So next we'll start getting these eight millimeter bolts out of the quartz sleeves. So we'll actually got Allen bolts and the clutch slave so and then we got uh, two or three eight millimeter screws on the nuts on that or not nuts and bolts. Alright, so we're going to take the quick slave cylinder off. You can see there's this wire running down. Here there's a little clip down here you gotta <coughs> just twist off on it. Release that. And this is a five, it's a five millimeter Allen. So there's going to be some tension on this when it comes off, so you got to kind of take these off evenly. spacer that went on this top bolt that'll fall out once we take the counter shaft sprocket cover off. Right, so it looks like you got three eight millimeter bolts on this.
those three photons loosened up. So you can see in there how uh, dirty those get. So this is your shaft that goes into to your clutch to disengage it. So it's okay to pull that thing all the way out and clean it. Nothing's gonna happen if you pull it out. Just make sure you, everything is clean before you pull it out and everything is clean when it goes back in. Uh, here's an even, even better look at it. So when you pull that cover off, this is the spacer that's going to fall off behind it. So make sure that goes on when you put your clutch soy cylinder back on her. Looks like they've got a nice grasshopper hook in there. Look at that, nice. All right, so the first thing I like to do is just get a, get a pick of some sort or a screwdriver, whatever you got to get this heavy stuff out of there. It's like tar almost. Sticky chain loom. So I'll continue doing this till I get all the big stuff out of there. And then I'll Use, uh, I usually use WD-40. I'll spray in there to loosen all that up. Get my rag and start wiping everything out. Then once I get all this stuff around here clean, then I'll pull the, the clutch push rod out, clean that up good, put it back. Then we'll be ready to reassemble. Alright, so we got it pretty well cleaned up. A little bit of dirt still on there, not much. But that's how we'd like it to look. Try to keep it that way. And while you're in there, you know, check the teeth on your counter shaft sprocket. Make sure you're not getting any sharp tooths. I think this one has about a, yeah, about 11,000 miles on it, so it should still be pretty good. Yeah, everything looks good, so we'll get start getting our button back up. All right, so it's all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and get this thing. Pretty simple, we've got all this cleaned out. So we've got our little hole here and our clutch rod goes through that. This one, this one has our little hole down for, for this, uh, that is the 
kickstand switch. Quick sleeve cylinder. So we've got our top bolt, we've got the spacer. So we're going to put that in first. We're going to put the bolt in the top and put our spacer on. We'll get that one started first. Seat it in there. Again, we want to, we want to uh, just get these started and get them hand tight. Okay, so you just put it in hand tight loose. Then we'll do the other one. So we've got this it's snug in there. Okay, here's the problem people have with these. I think I told you on the other video. I'll try to explain a little more. Okay, so we get these on even, but we don't screw it all the way in. What we're gonna do now, okay, they're in the hand tight, we're gonna go ahead and cut that zip tie off from the, the uh, clutch lever. And then we're going to slowly alternate back and forth and get this in. But don't go too fast, because the problem is, if you get too much pressure, it takes the clutch plate, the outer clutch plate on the clutch basket, and it can push it out, and then it can actually rotate the, the, uh, uh, the disc in there. And then when you go to take off, you're going to go, oh, my clutch is burned out, or something's wrong with my clutch. Well, no. As you push this in too far, put that rod will push the the clutch apart too far, and, that, and if that thing moves a little bit when it does that, the clutch plate gets stuck. Sometimes you can just unscrew the oil filler cap and take a screwdriver and pop it back in. But if you do it like I'm showing you, you shouldn't have that problem. So it is snugged in my hand loosely. Grab a pair of side sliders and we'll cut back. Okay, so now the clutch handle is out. Now we can continue. Because once you do that, there's no way for that piston to, to pop out of the slave cylinder once those things are in there. Now we're just going to alternate these real slow. Okay, 
That's it. Come up, we'll double check the clutch. Clutch feels just fine. And that's how you do it.